Hi everybody, welcome back to Book Hooks. This is Karen McLean, the director at the Azel Memorial Library. And the first book I want to talk about, it's not for the faint at heart, so if you don't like gory things, skip ahead to the next book. Um, but it's called Working Stiff. Two Years, 262 Bodies, and the Making of a Medical Examiner. It's by Judy Melanick and TJ Mitchell. And Judy Melanick is a medical examiner in New York City, which is probably one of the most interesting cities to be a medical examiner in. And her husband is actually the co-author. He's a writer. Um, she started her medical examining training and uh, profession right around 9-11. So in this book, she kind of talks about some of her experiences dealing with the aftermath of 9-11, but then she just really goes into some of the really interesting cases and things that she's learned along the way and dealt with along the way. Um, and what I think is funny is towards the end, and I think anybody in the medical profession would agree with this, she says she's really has started to just analyze the living and say, oh, that person has tons of veins in their legs, they're probably going to die of heart disease, and she kind of guesses how they're going to die, but um, the book itself, it's fascinating. It's, it's a subject I think most people steer away from, um, but I think it's a really interesting profession that we can learn about. And if you want to read this book or like this book, you might also want to read Stiff, The Curious Lives of Human Cadavers by Mary Roach. That was a book our nonfiction addiction book club read this last year, and it was fascinating. She goes into all the ways human cadavers have been used over time for scientific research, medical testing, um, she doesn't go into like the life and death aspect of it, just what our bodies used for um, to test out new products or medicines. Um, it's a fascinating read and she's a fabulous author. Anything Mary Roach has written has been really interesting. So if you're looking for a good author, check out Mary Roach. But if you're looking for a new book to read, Working Stiff by Judy Melanick. The next book we have is a fun one, and I um, I am so excited about this book. It's called No So Love, um, 50 Fun Projects to Make Without a Needle and Thread. It's by Ashley Johnston. Now, have a confession. I can't sew. I know. Okay, it's off my chest. We can move on. Um, I actually can sew by hand a little bit, but I don't have a sewing machine, and I don't know how to use one. So I've actually steered clear of a lot of crafts in the past that involve material or cloth because really any decent project you need to sew for. Um, well, this book has totally changed everything I've thought about working with cloth and material. Um, there are 50 projects in here that are very approachable and super, super cute that you can do without sewing. Um, most of the projects are fairly easy to work with. You can see here she's got a really cute apron. Believe it or not, there's no sewing involved with this, just a lot of adhesive tapes, iron-ons, um, some tying and folding. Um, the projects in here range from home decor items, sconces, throw pillows, um, even a lampshade, which was super cute. Um, but then there's also some clothing, whether it's for little kids or you saw the apron there, some scarves. So if you don't know how to sew, or maybe if you know how to sew, but you're just kind of being a little lazy, or probably teenagers would find this book really easy to use. Um, I highly recommend um, No So Love. And if you want more information about any of the projects in here or the author, she's actually the creator of MakeItLoveIt.com, so you can find some more of her crafty items there. And the last book we're gonna talk about, I'm not gonna go too much into because it's pretty self-explanatory, but 41, The Portrait of My Father by George Bush, on George Bush, his father, um, this just came out. This is actually the audiobook, and George Bush, um, George Walker Bush, um, is the one who actually reads and narrates this book. Um, he wrote this about his father because they're the only father and son president in history. Um, he talks about his father's life, his decades in politics, and how he really inspired his own political career and life. So, if you're wanting to learn more about either of the Bushes, um, this would be a great book to pick up. And that's it for our nonfiction book hooks. We'll see you next month with some more great reads.